Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to WrestleMania. Today we have several matches lined up. To kickstart the show, we have a tag team match with the Brute Squad. As you see, making their way down the ring, we have Massacre and Miller, two opposing forces. I feel sorry for the people who've got to go against them. Shadows. Mikey Shadows, ladies and gentlemen, is PWA wrestler. Known for wrestling with Francis P and many of them. But he also comes to MCW and that goes against MCW. And on this occasion, he's there at wrestling mode. Anyone else would be more hesitant to step in the room to be And his tag team partner from MCW. Oh my god, it is MCJ, ladies and gentlemen. Going with their crew of a tag team. And today we are teaming up with Monkey Fire. And again, Monkey Fire is just more at home, not so. Because uh, Miller covering Mikey Shadow. Throws him off the ropes. Oh, into a nasty elbow shot, ladies and gentlemen. He will be feeling that. Oh, come on, Miller, stop showing off. As you can see, Miller is just showboating. And again, showboating to the fans. with a big splash. What's Miller doing? Miller don't use the rope for top rope. He's up there. Ooh, a nasty elbow drop, ladies and gentlemen. And now he kicks the big man in his cell. Massacre is well known for his uh, just dominance. He goes for a quick pin, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Sacco, <laughs> Shadow kicks out for one. So far, I don't know why Shadows have much of an offense. Oh, one nasty guy. Oh, and MTJ in with a break. It looks like the Brute Force is having their way with Shadows. That showboat and might come back to Aunt Miller, and it does. Shadow gets a nice springboard elbow. Oh, poor Aunt Miller, not elbow. But no, straight back into his strike. 
Oh, and there is a Sherpa. Oh, Shadow's got the tag. MJF is now in. And it looks like MJF is doing better than what Shadows was. Uh, Miller kicked out at one. It's going to take more than that so he's going to keep Miller down. MJF keeps going at this. He's going to run out of steam between him. MPJ I mean. What a nasty form. I need to take Shadows back in. Mike Shadows back in ladies and gentlemen. Can you do something? Oh, what a nasty kick off Shadows. The Shadows in the... Oh, Shadows makes a mistake of letting Massacre get tagged in. Oh, Shadows comes in with a throw kick. Three to three, Shadows straight down. And Master tags in Miller again. Must be wanting to keep a fresh man in. Miller's like, I'm not winning by a time, so I'm going to go straight out to the win. I'll go to win for a next break, ladies and gentlemen. Get us all full done. Three to three, again, Master Power Bomb. Have a patient. Oh, and I got the break in the arm by it, it seems bad. Both shadows into the steel steps, that steps the hair. Can shadow get up in time? Oh, no thanks, just defensive for M MPJ. That's a new start of time. So you guys do squad as cold and go out and just have fun. I mean, they are just taking me to the park. That show goes to Mike, come back and haunt you, Miller. But Shadow goes for his phone thing. The MTJ again being smacked by Miller. Oh, Shadow to the reverse. Couple of knees delivered to Miller. He just seems to be getting it back on track. I shall tag to MTJ. I'm pretty sure MTJ's looking to get some revenge back on him. Oh, Nasty Kick busts him open, ladies and gentlemen. He's going for the pin. One. Oh, and he only gets the one count. MTJ must have thought that was it. He's just going to put some more stunts to the edge for a good measure. I can't have him throwing him into the this stuff. Oh, we see a double team move here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, double shoulder block. Oh, Shadows with a Superman punch. And a spear, ladies and gentlemen. It's just here. One. Oh, Massacre breaks it up before the one count. So close, ladies and gentlemen. So close. If Massacre weren't there, that would have been over, I'm sure of it. Oh, the end of days on the shadows! One, two, three, and there is, ladies and gentlemen, the Brook Squad has won the match. I'm pretty sure this is not going to be over and done with, guys. As you see, they are happy dancing around near enough. 
I'm sure this is going to start a good rivalry. Let's get on to match 2 guys. Where El Kuru will be facing Nightmare. Here we are ladies and gentlemen, match number 2. We have L3 vs Nightmare. Making sure that's the ring now we have El Kukui. This is a very interesting match ladies and gentlemen. As if L3 wins this match, Nightmare must join him in the, the Nightmare of the Underworld. Which is run by Mr. Vane. As Mr. Vane has managed to persuade El Kukui to leave the boot squad and join him in his new faction. And they are looking to recruit more people. But Nightmare is almost not be controlled with mere force. So, if El Kukui wins this match, Nightmare joins the nightmare of the underworld but if nightmare wins he gets a shot at the interpromotional champion so let's see what happens we have, three, we have nightmare on the first one Nightmare's not making this easy for El Kukui. El Kukui. Before he gets pushed down with a mini spear. Nightmare has definitely got his A game on tonight ladies and gentlemen. Nasty right blow. But Nightmare just pushes El Kukui off and smashes his head off the barricade. I think the Nightmare of the Underworld must have underestimated this big giant mammoth. They've sent the biggest guy they've got after him and he has just thrown him around like he's a ragdoll. Not many wrestlers can do this to El Kukui. I can see why they want to uh, get him into the Nightmare of the Underworld. Having two of the largest MCW wrestlers uh, on their team would make them a force to reckon with. Nightmare just dragging El Kukui. Going for a pin link room. One. Now Kukui's like not happening. Kicks out at one. Oh. German suplex to El Kukui and goes for a pin, one and he kicks out again ladies and gentlemen Nightmare can't be underestimating El Kukui he goes in for a clothesline and smacks him 
Up to is finally getting some offense. But he's now showing off that may come back to haunt him guys. Oh, he picks the big guy up for a bear hug. Is he going to give up? Is he going to give up? No. No, he counted it guys. He has counted it. Oh, how can we count this back in the room? And he hits him with a nasty slow climb. And a backdrop. You going for a spine buster? He goes for a spine buster there in German. Alfie has brought this match back with a big splash. One, two, and Nightmare kicks out. Nightmare cleverly rolls out the ring. Oh, and Alfie with the reversal. What's Alfie doing? Oh, and that's the smack to his stomach. Oh, not my count yet. Are they going to be a double count count? Nightmare just smashing L3's head off the map. Oh! Oh no, L3 counted it. He must have been going. Oh, and the days! And the thing! Oh! And Nightmare out on that, ladies and gentlemen. He goes for spin. One, two. Oh, and L3 kicks out. Is this the end? Is this the fight? One. Two, three, oh my god, Nightmare's one. Nightmare's one, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, he gets to go to the most professional championship in the match. Oh my god, Mr. Bain is not going to be happy with LCD when he gets back to the I would take the LCD when he gets back. Well, join me, ladies and gentlemen, for match three. Well, Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to WrestleMania match number three. And it is for the Int Promotional Championship. And it's a 1-4 match. The only way to win is by pinning on submission. And making his way to his ring now. It is none other than the challenger. Max Atom Max Atom is a former international champion who has lost his title to Liverdor Oh and Liverdor wants to get this match started early Nasty knee Oh and an X Factor on the steel ramp. Looks my access and is just getting up from it. Oh, it's a nasty drop to Max Atom onto the back. As you can see, Lane Jones, that is a steel ramp. Everybody wants to get Max back into the uh, ring. He didn't want it to be faster than no contest, did he now? Max hadn't done enough and knees him in the face. Couple of blows. He needs to get him back in the ring, Max. You can't win him outside. Oh, nasty clothesline from Max Atom. This is not going in the favour of Liverpool.
Max Amos taking the tight to taunt Liverdor. This did not turn out well for him. Before he could get the jump on Max Amos. There we are, they doing the bing. They have the bing. The bell has rang. Max Adam with the scrap. Oh, nasty move. That's a rope break, ladies and gentlemen. Max Adam is not taking any prisoners in this match. He's like, you want to jump me from behind? Oh, look at that little nasty backdrop. Oh, nice hurricane runner. President to the ring post, ladies and gentlemen. Five. And a nasty drop kick to Max Atom while he's getting in the ring. Five. Oh, and another nasty drop kick. Ah, uh, too soon. Max Atom easily kicks out at one. There's a lovely Hurricane Rana by Liverdor. A standing knee to up. Shooting star press, ladies and gentlemen. That is impressive. But again, Max Atom kicks out at one. It all goes for a close line, but Max Atom can't do it. He picks him up. Oh, snake eyes! And a couple of scrapes for good measure. What's this? Boom! And he's busted open, ladies and gentlemen. Liverdor is busted open. That seems to have kicked off a fire in the dark because he's come back out with a couple of blows. And he hits him on the third time. It's a comeback, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a back spinning kick. One. Oh, Max that means he kicked out at one. Another door goes back for some kicks. Oh, and he goes for another lovely hurricane now, ladies and gentlemen. And Max out and wisely leaves the ring. Another door is on the pursuit. Oh, boy, he gets hit with a clothesline. Max out and takes the test to him. The first fight. And a body slam. Strong guys, you need to get back in the ring. You cannot win the title by a counter. The title. Oh, we go first. Max Hammond to the he gets out. He comes back with a couple of blows. A couple of kicks. Elbow, kick. Oh, and a nasty knee. Just like Shining Wizard, ladies and gentlemen. And lift that door, hit him with a hurricane runner. Going for three, one, two, three. He wins on a hurricane runner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, let's look at some replays. See a beautiful hurricane runner, and another beautiful hurricane runner. And that was it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all it took. Well, I'd hate to be this man because he has to go against the monster known as Nightmare. Thank you very much for your man. Stay tuned for the next match. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to match four the Women's Championship MCW. This is a triple threat match, and making her way down to the ring now is Katie Glitterus.
Now, Casey Curtis is making an MCW debut match today. Little is known about this young lady. But she seems to be a fan favourite already. So, there could be high hopes for her in the future. And who knows, could she win on her very first match? new women's champion but before she gets that she must go against two others and make her way to ring now she is the queen of the olympians a follower follower very little is known about this thing. Okay, let's see how this goes with me, I think. Alright. In case you go straight for the phone I have a book in that memory section. But I do apologize. But apparently, the divorce is a given arm drop. Oh, but get a nasty clothesline of the left side. And take this with him. Come on, Palmer, break the weapon. And take the levels of the submission, but his ass as well is broken, ladies and gentlemen. That's why he's going on to turn to him, but still in. Oh, a nice middle rope missile drop too. And Katie goes, oh, back to throw. Nice kick to the right, yeah. I don't know what it is. Looked like a drop. To the right. And a knee to the drop. And Sapphire. Sapphire has scored the weapon and breaks up the pin. Very much a fast occupation there. Oh, she also has a nasty kick to her leg there. Katie is not breaking this lane down. Oh, nasty going up there. A break for now. And we've got the one down. Bottom roll, just going to take in. And a nasty next break there. So I'm just going to call it by the Queen of Thrones. Oh, so you just call the Queen. 
Sorry, but it's for submission on Katie. And Katie rolls it out. Oh, and he's a spin descent. One. And that's even a two shot. Machine gets up and sticks in the back. And Stanton can put him in the corner. Katie has to clean the lock. And goes for it. Not too quick. And a kick to the back to live it by Sapphire. Oh, that is a nasty backhand point. Sapphire just turned this kick. Oh, Stacey delivers a block kick to the head. And the Queen has a chair. And then it's not too quick. Beautiful backflip range on him. Oh, and a boot to the face. That's that fire. Oh, and the team blocks that attack and hits him with a nasty jet kick of her own. And takes the turn, Katie. One, two, oh, and she gets kicked out. That fire hits the knee, gets her in turn, but can count with it. And deliver the kick of her own. But the queen has that fire. Throw into a rope. They bounce off each other. Oh, and that fire delivers a nasty knee to the face. And that fire back into the ring again, looking for his left hand. She has this chair over there. Oh, and she has Katie over the edge of it. And she continues hitting her. And the Queen grabs that fire from behind and just takes a foot from the other way. That's what you get when you take your eyes off the Queen. The Queen goes for submission, but you cannot run outside the ring. You must get inside. Oh, it's that fire. Time to put in an arm drag. It looks like the Queen is going for a butterfly from two plates. And the Queen comes to fire. And Katie is trying to get the drop kick that she missed. Oh, we have a double team from Katie and the Queen. A double DD for the German. The Queen really has an interest that far. And it's just the Queen and Katie in the ring. The Queen is going to have to have a Oh, this is going to be the how she got it? How she got it? That's why I can drop in the ring. Oh, and she managed to break it all. Oh, she hits her in the side, drops it to the middle of the road, comes to the screen. Goes for pin one, two, three. Oh, and Sapphire receives the title over there with a shocking drop in the middle of the road. My gosh. And Sapphire is celebrating. That was a hard fought battle that came out on top. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We are with the final match. And it's for the MCW Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring right now, we have Bisto the Butcher. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Fisto the Butcher has been the international champion and the MCW champion. So he knows what it takes to get the job done. But this is a full count anywhere elimination with a time limit of 30 minutes. As you can see, Fisto the Butcher is taking his time. He seems to be a fan favourite as well. We've seen quite a few of them today, guys. He's definitely giving the fans what they want to see. And Bisto the Butcher become MCW champion again tonight. But he has not just one, but he has three. Here's another one now. We have the hardcore icon, Luligan. Luligan as well has been an MCW champion. So he also knows what it takes to become the old title. He is really 
Division is not popular with the fans. Best. Someone's gonna get hurt. This music seems to be quite popular with our wrestlers. And here is this thing going The governor. The governor and hooligan have a big, massive rivalry spreading back for many, many years. I wonder if they're going to uh, rekindle any of those fond moments they have together. Let me show you guys the last time these two were in the ring, it was like a four time. And again, the book that is not too quite popular with the fans. The fans are letting them know what they think of him. Like he doesn't care, he has come and told to hurt people. I don't even think this man cares about winning the title. I think he just wants to hurt people. And there is ladies and gentlemen, your MCW. Heavyweight champion. He is the god of Olympia. He is Mr. Bane. I'm about to go off like a weapon. Fuel to the top, gotta fill up. You can see Mr. Vane showboat into his mere mortal subject. As you just said, then I enjoy it. He seems to be quite well, very popular with these mortals. Mr. Bane is the longest reigning MCW champion. But tonight it can all come to an end. As I say, Mr. Bane doesn't just have to worry about one opponent, he has three. But I'm pretty sure the god of Olympia does not fear the mere mortals that step into a ring with him. And that's why it's Paul Lane German MCW Championship. All four of these people have been MCW champion. And Bisto and Mr. Yeah, Bisto and Gopher starts it off with Mr. Vane and Hooligan. Locking horns. Mr. Vane goes for Hooligan, just drops him down and knees oh stomp to the stone. Oh and Governor and Mr. Vane is now locking on. Why Hooligan goes for Victor? Oh but it looks like Hooligan has gone for the governor. And Mr. Vane with a nasty uppercut punch. And Governor picks Hooligan above his face and drops him on his knee. And Governor drops Mr. Bane. And he goes for a pin. One. Two. Oh. I thought Mr. Bane was going to be out there. He's going to quick time. Oh, and. Oh, near enough coincidence. Power bombs. Governor and Hooligan go at it. As we said, ladies and gentlemen, these two have had a bit of rivalry for many years. And Mr. Vane has gone for a table. Could we see someone go through it? Oh, Mr. Vane gets punched by Bisco and Bisco gets hit by the governor. Oh, it's a dominator. And the governor goes for pin one, two. 
Oh, and Bista just kicks out. The governor is not happy. But Mr. Vane and the Hooligan is at us now. Hooligan counters the slam with a. Oh, reverse DDT. Bista gets thrown out the ring and. Hooligan just shows off his brute strength by picking Vaney up dead weight. But he only gets a once, ladies and gentlemen. The fans want to see the table get smashed, but Vaney goes for a... I don't know what that is. I thought he was going for a sharpshoot, but this drops him on his head. Just like this though does with the governor. Oh, governor kicks out at one. Oh, what's Bisto doing? Oh, lovely insecurity onto the governor. And a hurricane runner to Mr. Vane. Bisto seems to be a one-man wrecking machine at the minute, and he throws Hooligan right out the ring. Mr. Vane has gone for a weapon again, and what is he got? He's got a chair lane, gentlemen. Watch out, Bisto. Oh, Bisto gets smacked on the head. The governor grabs him, Mr. Vane from behind. Oh, double team by Hooligan and the governor. Onto Mr. Vane. And Hooligan goes for a. Oh no! He gets countered with a DT and gets busted open. And the governor goes for pin one, two. Oh, and Hooligan kicks out. And Bisto goes flying over top rope to Mr. Vane. Oh, this match is out of control, ladies and gentlemen. A pump up power bomb. Bisto is. Pulling out all the stocks here, ladies and gentlemen. And Mr. Vane. Oh, Mr. Vane and Hooligan goes for a double suplex on Bisto. And a shoulder barge to the governor. And then he gets thrown into a turn back by Mr. Vane. Bisto goes for a god knows what that was again. It is off the rails, ladies and gentlemen. Bisto saying he's had enough. Mr. Vane with a stop sign. Bisto! Oh, he hits him, breaks it up. Oh, Hooligan stops Mr. Bain from being Bisto. When doing so, gets thrown. Governor now getting pinned. Oh, he only gets the one count. What's Bisto doing? Oh, sit down power bomb onto the Governor from Bisto. Oh, and a back stamp from Bisto onto Hooligan. And a backwards moonsault. What is this doing? I'd have gone for the pin, Bisto. Oh, Gustav gets slapped down by Mr. Vane. And Mr. Vane comes in. He goes straight for Bisto. Oh, and Hooligan knocks Mr. Vane down with his shoulder block. It's only Bisto and Hooligan's in. Oh! Killing Destroyer off the Hooligan. One, two, oh, Bisto kicks out! Bisto kicks out, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, an atomic drum from Mr. Vane to Governor. And he gets picked up with a oh, spine buster by Governor onto Hooligan! Hooligan has gone out the ring to take Fever. Mr. Vane with the Team Dominator! One, two. Oh God, Mr. Vane kicks out. The governor cannot believe it, ladies and gentlemen. And Bisto reverses the governor, but Hooligan has a shovel. Oh, Bisto takes off and smacks the Hooligan in the oh, back of the air, ladies and gentlemen. Bisto's like, if you brought it in for me, you can have it instead. He goes for pin one, two. Three on! Oh, Hooligan is eliminated by Bisto the Butcher! Oh, Hooligan is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Hooligan is gone. Who would have thought Bisto would have had him gone? But Mr. Vane has got a Bisto! Oh! That is a nasty reverse one presenter. One, two, three! Oh, and Bisto the Butcher is gone, guys! Mr. Vane has eliminated. Bisto the Butcher is down to the Governor and Mr. Vane. Mr. Vane with back elbow, going for a pin, only got the one count. The trial 
Oh, Mr. Bean. Very strong man out of the ring like he's nothing. Oh, couple of, oh, couple of combos. What's he doing? Power driver on to the governor. Is this it? Could he be over and done with? One, two, three. Oh, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Your God of Olympian has retained the MCW Championship. That was a nasty power driver, guys. Well done to Mr. Vane. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming to the first ever and hopefully many more of MCW shows. And this was WrestleMania.